All right, guys, we're at auction stop number three at Yoder and Fry Auctions down here in Kissimmee, Florida in February of 2022. Alright guys, it's Clint from CNC Equipment. We're down here at the Yoder and Fry Yard in uh, February 2022. Checking out some equipment for the upcoming auction here next week. We've got uh, quite a few machines in here, a lot of excavators. There's actually a couple uh, couple people you guys might recognize down here. We'll see if we can go find them. I'm guessing they're down here in uh, Bobo land. You guys might know who they are. Somebody sitting on the JCB. Yeah. This is the wrong brand for you, isn't it? It's doing a lot of beeping too. Have you got uh oh, did you break it already? You guys, I'm sure it. you guys know who this guy is I ain't here. I broke it if I don't own it. <laughs> Nobody owns it yet. You need to go down here in the swamp. Let the swamp right there and it turns into water. <laughs> See if you can get through it or See not. What kind of you'll do? I honestly, I don't think the alarm is going to let me get that far because it was. It's angry at do you. Do you smell huh? the antifreeze? Because I do. It's angry at you. I had that one run. You pulled the throttle, pulled in, it died at 1300 RPM. Somebody else over there playing with the JCB. I don't think nobody knows how to run one. I had them going. I already been digging with it. <laughs> Two buttons on the other side. You found it. Now we'll throttle up. It's golf course now. You just want me to reach out there and. Now nah, you ain't gonna reach my golf cart. Good news, it don't have enough power. <laughs> it don't sound real good. No, it I, I had 2,000, it dropped to 1,300, revved up. Oh, that's all she's got. That's it. Yeah, she's a little low on power. Yeah. I mean, if you're digging the air, I think it's a good thing. It's Definitely not doing real good. Stuff looks nice, but there's always an issue with it somewhere. We got DEF fluid on too. Your JCB won't do that. No. <laughs> so either we were really rough on it or it runs hot. Oh yeah, one of the two. It flew off in transit. That's how fast these are, see? That's how fast they spin <laughs> around. <laughs> like lightning. Now that's a that's the same company that my Volvo come from. Is that overseas? I don't Is know. It's, uh, it's a company down here in Florida. Well, you, can, you can see the uh, name of it through the uh, paint where it faded. That's a print plan. Yeah. I've never seen them before. That's who uh, my Volvo was originally sold down here and somehow made it to Las Vegas. And then was used out there for utility work and then. My machine literally went from here, it was sold here, went to Las Vegas, worked there, and now it's in North Carolina. Yours isn't that old though, is it? 2017. Yeah. Though. It's been around. It's just got some miles on it. Let's go see what else we got. What's he doing over there? He's got a little John O'Deary. They must have had a hundred of these trucks at the last sale. Oh yeah. Just because it says it's John Deere don't mean it's John Deere. You know that, right? Well, Just because it says John I know Deere. This guy is it Nashville or Unionville? Well, I'm both so places. You can't buy this. It's not green. He told me. That... I can paint it green. <laughs> <laughs> he you told me know, if... you, there's nothing you can get. That little green mini up there is yours. Go he look. told me if I bought something green, he'd work on it for life as long as he could video. Okay. So... You realize that's not a John Deere, though, right? You realize well, it says deer, so you'll work right, on it, right? You got stickers on it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the deer. That's my 555. Boom going. We've got a little one and a big one. Both ends of the spectrum here. Yeah. A little 350C. And this is actually 983. The same thing as a D8, what, K? Yeah. You know, what I it? thought I had problems with its... Uh, 
sister, but uh, I think we these can fix that with this. What are these, 80,000 pounds? Yeah, these undercarriage. Oh, I'm gonna drop three of them in the low boy on 465. Somebody's actually welded on top of these. Look at that, hard yeah. surface those. Yeah, that stuff's gone, ain't it? It's been turned too, ain't it? Big dollar. Let me see if she'll fire up. All right, we're up in the old 983. See if she'll start up. She's got glow plugs on her. Oh yeah. Out. We're gonna give her some glow plugs. Getting ready to get on the old 983 that we just on. Thanks, pretty. Pretty wore off. Bad 
Okay. Big old loader, ain't they? You got it. You gotta have it neutral. He, he's always going. Oh, you can't get it on quick enough. No, it won't start unless that center one's in neutral. You gotta get up in it and run it. I think it's gonna bring about twice as much money as this thing it back will. here. Somebody spent some money and replaced all the hoses in the back, probably because it fell off at some point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm seeing original John Deere rails down here, though. That's kind of. <laughs>
heavy with the back on. It is, it is, yeah. Well, the seat goes down. That lid actually flips up, so you sit up in between the. Uh... <laughs> Smash your hands up there. That lid folds up, and then you sit up there. <laughs> Might be a bleepity bleep bleep here. Well, the real question is who's owner, the machine or the operator? <laughs> that was a poor, a poor design. He's bought. It's he's bought three 555s new. The first two had that style roof. That way, when you, you hit a you hit a hill there or something, it knocks. Yeah, it smashes you your hand. Clearing and hit the tree, that thing slamming on. I know I've said no many times. I'll tell my sister. <laughs> I wasn't worried about safety back then. I need a little chrome. Let's Whoa. just face it, back in the day this beat it this beat it up. Not much fun left there. No, you just keep that phone it up. <laughs> but the show side back ends up. No digging, sir. <laughs> Eat up here. These old people don't have any filters left anymore, so this is how we got kicked out of Governor's Run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to buy this thing and I know it doesn't dig. That's right. I can dig air all day long. times they've sold them. You can see there's the weeds growing up around them. A D8 and D7. This is on a Volvo haul truck. A little rougher than what he's got. Yeah. Boy, that poor air conditioner <laughs> sucked up some salt. Well, we was driving around out here and we seen this nice shiny dozer and the closer we got to it, the more things we seen missing. Missing that's a, a different work next to the ocean for a few days. No. Look at the air conditioner What would give you any indication that's for better, that that's, that's been better installed? Better cross flow. Better cross flow. Right. We're missing one over here. Oh, the, oh, the ventilation for the cab, right? Check over here. We're missing the second up here. Well, they, Brent, they fell that's off the ones out there. They had to start taking them off. Yeah. Those, those, those aren't great. important down there. As, to, as Tom would say, the ones in the middle aren't as important as the two on the right, end. Exactly. They were the right. pitched on to the front and the bottom. Luckily, nothing got in the cab. And look at all the plastic it smeared in here. Oh. <laughs> it's waving. Oh, Easy. Oh, it off. Hey, hey, look at the idler how far it is out on the rail. Oh, it'll be all right. On the crack frame. Look at the gap under here. Yeah. We got to take mats? Need oh, to right up the out. battery door's open. It'll sound just like a Cadillac. Look at this big plane coming in here. Do you have the parking brake down? I got a jump pack if you're real into it. I don't think it's worth wasting electricity. No. On it. <laughs> I'd say there's a reason why it's sitting out here by itself. Oh, well, look, look out here. It's got this uh, super Bluetooth fan belt on here, too. <laughs> The master is uh, broken off. Oh! There's no, there's no fan belt on it, so. Your, uh, I don't think your jump pack's gonna help a broken master. Check out the plane here. Prop job. You guys see that way up there? You know it's corroded stuff when the blade is in it. Yeah. But it looked good from way over there. It did. Some poor soul by this thing. Yeah. I got a feeling this is gonna be an internet. Somebody's took the muffler out straight pipe through. Well, this 
Green Road. Trying to run over, Susie. I, I don't think he quite realized the turning radius on it. <laughs> I thought we were about selling a forty thousand dollar golf cart. <laughs> Sentimental value. They don't like that stuff. I like it. A little bit of playing the cylinder is not too bad. Remember on camera, it's a piece of junk. Oh yeah, right? If you're gonna buy it, it's always a piece of junk. are stuck and I got three machines. Got one a pulling and one a pushing. Get her all shove her right through the radiator. They got her. That's what's wrong with Small shit bigger than the motor. Got motors for days out here. You guys need to see any motors? Well, that's all you're going to look at back here. <laughs> I like the uh, ECMs bolted on the back of the flywheel. <laughs> yeah. Did you just buy these? You no idea if they're good or bad. Great. Right. Build them. You guys just come around with the uh, pipe wrenches, make sure they turn over. Buy them with cores. Motors, as far as you can see. You guys Some need them. Most of them Have you seen enough motors? He wanted to go back to them. Looking for a yellow one. How are you? What are you looking for? I don't know, but I don't see a yellow one over. There's yellow ones over here. I'm gonna need one for a 983. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big hog. All right, back at the auction day, looking at some more equipment. You guys got uh, all kinds of excavators here at Yoder and Fry. Mike from Dirt Perfect and Chris from Let's Dig 18. I think Dirt Boss is up there too. Dad's up there trying to show him how to run an excavator at Chris's or something. We're going to go through some of these things and check them out. A lot of these machines are actually imported. They're like gray iron machines, so you got to watch out. They're, uh, see if I can find a tag on this one. This one's an actual cat machine from uh, Peoria, but some of these have come in from Europe and overseas sometimes it makes it hard if you deal with the dealer to get parts for them or for them to work on them they won't work on a gray iron machine so there's a bunch of those little excavators or foreign machines i know a lot of the kubotas are so because they're all autumn's all made overseas but they're just imported from uh, europe and italy and places like that so another cat one there but anyway we're gonna get uh, checking some of this stuff out here when I find one of those gray iron machines I'll point one out to you Mike's trying out a JCB robot on your equipment.
know any codes? Yeah. Say it again. You like the what? Was it showing any codes up there? You didn't buy one? Wasn't flashing or beeping at you? Jerky operator? You cracked a glass over there, didn't you? You're fired. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go down there and check out some of these skid steers. We got a bunch of brand new rollers going on there. Mike just got done checking out that JCB. 300 hours on, definitely interesting for sure. So, some RC30s. We're gonna go on down the line and check some of these out. at the Yoder and Fry auctions today. They're selling uh, excavators and dozers. I think that's about it. Got many excavators over here. Got some big ones over here. We've already been through and tested all these out. I think they're selling graders today too and haul trucks. Making sure they didn't sneak any more, sneak any more in here on us. Sometimes they haul them in at the last minute. They've been over here two or three times inspecting all of them. See anything new? attachment on this deuce on. I'm not exactly sure what it's something for poles or piling or something. Got uh, some grab arms on it there. It tilts. I don't know what it is. Not been used a whole lot. Made to clamp something. It says pipe boss up there, don't it? Covered up. Uh oh. Something to do with something around. No. Graber excavating demolition. Some haul trucks. Fire down. I'm supposed to. Yeah. I'm supposed to bid on one of these trucks. I don't know which one for Mr. Dirt Perfect. Is it this one? One's got the straight pipe pumps, all I know. It's not that one. That's it. This right is there. it right here. Yeah, Mike thinks he needs this truck here, so we're going to keep an eye on that for him today. I'm sure there's some videos up on his channel of him running that around, so we'll see what it brings today. They already headed back a couple days ago, so we're going to watch that sell for him. Two pipes, 
Black, 203, thank you, bring on 1041, I'll wear that here to put the name in the Volvo, 830, I'll wear that here to take the same here, I'll wear that here to put the name in the Volvo, 830, I am 30,000, I am 30, 30, 30, 10, 15, 15, 15, 15, I am 10, 15, 15, 17, 20, here, 20, I'm going to go here, 30, a few good ones in there you just gotta be careful what you're looking at and running I know the torque converter is out of that one it's pretty sad cats over here If you guys watched my channel or Mike's channel at Dirt Perfect, you know we put a ripper on his 850J. And this is actually the same exact ripper. It's just got different mounts with Komatsu Dozer, but the actual ripper part's exactly the same. Same class dozer. So. Another D65. Those are the same size of 850 John Deere. And we got a couple old goodies. I think you guys may have seen those earlier. So we'll go down here and check out the skid steer box. Did buy one John Deere skid steer 331G. I think it's a 2018. It's got like 600 hours on it. It's a pretty clean machine. It's got cab, AC. It's all loaded up with everything. So it is for sale. So if you see this video pop out, check our website out. I'll put some links in the description below. So I'm going to throw some uh, auction footage in here from yesterday of this stuff selling. And then. Uh, we're gonna go see what this other stuff brings today and see what we get we checked antifreeze on this thing already and made sure it was all right to go north so we're gonna go see what the other stuff's bringing Here, 
guys so we end up buying a haul truck not for me but actually for mike at dirt perfect uh he thinks he needs this truck so uh, i got it bought and i got uh i think i bought four dozers i got a couple d5s and 750 and a 450 jail we'll go check those out we're gonna check the antifreeze on this to make sure it's cool enough to go home you got some in it i don't know what mike bought muddy water it looks muddy, like muddy water is it floating anything? Oh my. Muddy water. That's not good. Is there anything else in there? That's it. Muddy water. Want me to try another farther up? It smells like antifreeze. It's 55 at home. 55 at home. Okay. There you go. I didn't get the mud. Kept her off the bottom. You ain't got any floating? I don't think. Try some more. Huh? Muddy water. Try it some more. Try some more. It's muddy water. Don't dip her down in there as deep. That was all I got. All I got. One ball floating. That's about all I seen is one ball. That's minus 20, isn't it? Mm. No, or 20 above. A 20 above? 20. You'll, Don't. Pro You'll probably make it. I'll see what Mike Oh, he needs to drive back down and put some That's in. That's right, he's going to turn around. So. It smells like it's got some. Flip me. I'll put it back down. Okay. Flip one ball. One ball. All right, we're going to move on. Side. All right, bought a pretty nice 750 J. It's got some hours on it, but super strong. Somebody's already tweaked the freaking door on it, too at the auction. I love it. 
love that. Floating three. Floating three. Good enough for home. That one's good on the cooler. Key shut off. So all these machines will be for sale except the uh, haul truck. It's actually not mine. I'm just helping Mike getting it home. So if you want to see more on that, definitely hop on his channel. I got a low hour 450G here. Is anything in that tank or not? That might be hot, watch it. It is. So this is a 2,000 hour machine. It's actually got the original rails and stuff on it. Or John Deere rails, so. Okay. No, we can come back and check it. Pretty good old machine, so. And I bought two of these uh, D5s here. It's hot. Hot. Got a pair of uh, D5 ends too. Good way getting scalded. A little hot, no overflow. Uh, I'll see if I can get some towels for that. Got one D5 over there and another one over here, LGP machines. Like 700 size John Deere machines. Pretty good undercarriage entering under them, so we'll get those in, get them all checked up. Dad's checking the antifreeze on them. The uh, big old 983 sold for ten thousand dollars. I'll drop a video in there of that thing selling. All right, you guys, let me know what you think of that. If that dude was a little closer to home, I might have maybe bought it, but. It's a big old chunk of iron it needs some work got some motor issues undercarriage getting down but got good pads but 80,000 pounds is a lot to move back home so cost half that just to move it home so anyway i think that's a wrap down here for auction stop number three so we'll uh, get that stuff at home but if you guys are interested in that stuff definitely hit us up i'll put all the our info in the description down below so we had a good time with uh mike and all them down here mike and chris and the other Mike from uh, Dirt Boss, pretty good group of guys. So there'll be some clips in here you guys seen of them, us messing around. But uh, anyway, got one more auction beat Richie Brothers. I'll probably bid online on it, but uh, I'll have a quick video of it uh, just inspecting some equipment and stuff. So if you guys like this stuff, give me a thumbs up and uh, definitely subscribe if you want to see more action. We'll catch you guys next time.